Welcome back to Sheffield. This is the city where our record-breaking Olympic boxing team were based ahead of London 2012. Star of the show was that man. Gold medalist Anthony Joshua, who made his debut three weeks ago in the capital, and demolished his opponent in less than one round. Second up, 33-5 veteran Paul Butlin, who shared the ring with some very good class opposition. He took current European champion Derek Chisora the distance twice. How will this one pan out? Our MC is John McDonald. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the future people's champion known as Anthony Joshua. Yeah, Sheffield's this fella's second home. Huge weight of expectation on his shoulders. So many people think this could be a future world champion. But you know what, Jim, the thing that impresses me about him is his mental attitude. He's a very positive guy, seems to take everything in his stride and just rolls along. Says, yeah, I'm a novice, I'm starting out, but he just handles himself so well, he gets what it is about being a professional boxer. I like everything about him, Nick. I mean, Henry Cooper, Frank Bruno were hugely popular heavyweights in Britain. I think this guy can get up on the same pedestal they were there. But this guy is an Olympic champion to kick off with. It's phenomenal. And when you think he'd only been boxing for four years, but when he picked up the, the gold medal, that's a phenomenal achievement. So we have to keep that in mind. We have to keep in mind he's a young fellow at the start of a new career. This is a totally different game. So I'm, I'm sure it'll be a few fights before we see him risked. But let's just enjoy every stage of his career, because I think it's a career that eventually will lead all the way to the top. Plenty of people up there in the country who are hoping you are absolutely right. The gold trim, of course, on his gear. The Olympic gold medalist now, possibly, maybe, one day, a future world heavyweight champion. Now, when he was in the amateurs, of course, he was trained by Rob McCracken. And I know Rob is here somewhere in this arena looking on. Looking to see how his protege does as a pro. Ladies and gentlemen, Eddie Hearn for Matchroom Sport now showcases for your entertainment six rounds of boxing in the heavyweight division. Introducing to you, firstly, fighting out of the red corner around the black trunks, trimmed with silver, weighing in 16 stone, 11 pounds, 14 ounces, a 33 fight record, 14 wins, three inside, the schedule distance, and 19 defeats. Ladies and gentlemen, a record attendance in the Prize Fighter Series from Milton Mowbray. Fighting out of the blue corner. We're in the black trunks, trim with gold. Weighing in at 16 stone, eight pounds, seven ounces. He is undefeated. One contest and one win inside the scheduled distance. Come to the ring as the two-time ABA champion. And ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the Olympic gold medal. He is the future people's champion. Well, Paul Butlin was the original opponent for the debut three weeks ago, but he turned that down because he was getting married. So from wedding bells to boxing bells for Paul Butlin, and he might be hearing bells of another kind fairly soon, if Anthony Joshua has his way. Vastly experienced Butlin, been Come in with on. some very good men, as you heard Derek Chisora twice, Albert Sosnowski, who was a former world title challenger, Paolo Bidoz, former European champion, Jonathan Banks, who went seventh round with the big American, lost over eight to Edwin Gerber, who just boxed for the European title. Just recently lost in five to Gary Cornish, the big Highlander in Inverness. The problem he's got, Jim, all those names I mentioned, he's lost to him in the end. 
sooner or later and you would think the same fate is going to befall him here it's just a matter of when yeah well uh, you know a fighter who's lost more than he's won he's you know he, he's making up the numbers tonight it's uh, you have to expect this but i mean it's quite right you have to be careful with all, all talents a good right hand from joshua yeah rocked him there rocked him early and the legs are sagging and he's really feeling that right hand here Butlin. and well just to get through that doesn't want to take too many more of them and joshua knows he's got his number howard foster's already looking at this the referee inside the first minute well, well, we're seeing what we expected to see, but I was quite surprised by the speed of that right hand from Joshua. That was terrific. You can see him warming to the pro game. Talk to Big Richard Towers, the Sheffield heavyweight who's been sparring with Joshua, and he said the thing that really impressed him more than anything about Joshua was the way he adapts. Whatever you throw at him, he deals with it and comes back with something else. And again, every time Butlin feels one of those right hands, the legs shake. And there's another one. And the switch to the body. Sagged at the knees a bit there. The 37 year old is probably thinking, What am I doing in here at the moment? Yeah, I think Butlin had their plans of putting up a show the way he started here tonight, but uh, I think he's uh, had his mind changed. He was hurt. He's been hurt a couple of times. He's still in there, thankfully. But they're uh, being a little bit more circumspect now. He said all the right things in the build up for Butlin. He said, Ah, Joshua, he's a bit slow, flat footed, stiff. But then he said, Why do you eat bang a bit? Also admitted it's a totally different lifestyle. Paul's day starts at 5 a.m. with a run, then he has to get the kids to school, then he goes to work. Well, he hasn't has to worry about any of that just at the moment. Yeah, well, Butlin trying to be a little bit cagey you now, getting his hands up, blocking the shots. Maybe a good time to go back down to the body again for Joshua. But it'd be nice to hear the final bell. I don't mean <laughs> the end of the fight, I mean the end of the round. Got a couple of jabs in there earlier, Butlin. And he's done well, as we say, to regroup, because he looked like he was going to go in the first minute. Showed some reflexes there to get out of the way of that long right hand, but here comes the jab. Joshua taking his time. They're going to work for his openings. Not in any rush here. Yeah, which is also good, you know, he doesn't have the pressure of the crowd looking for the knockout like Hutley up. Not for the first time in this round. There is that bell you're waiting for, Jim. He survived the first three minutes, Paul Butlin. That's Tony Sims working the corner with his brother Peter there, the cup man. Nah, Joshua, very business-like there. I mean, he's huge, he's powerful, he's athletic, he's talented, everything going for him. And not in any hurry whatsoever. He wants to do the job cleanly. Not allowing this to to be messy, just picking his punches nicely. Round two of this six-rounder. There was a shrug almost from Paul Butlin as he went to his corner at the end of that first round, as if to say, boy, this is going to be a painful night's work. Switching with a body shot there. Joshua leading off with a left hand to the body. Oh, nailed him. That right hand. Now is Butlin going to get up? He doesn't know where he is, Butlin, and I think Howard Fox is waving that off. There's a bad cut over the eye as well. Now, is he going to let him carry on? Well, he is. Well, I think body language says yeah. I want out of there. I would have got him out of there. I think one more punch will get him out of there, and I think Howard Foster is getting ready to step in here because nobody wants to see Butlin get hurt. Body shots coming in. He's all over the place here, and that's it. The towel comes in. Howard Foster says that's enough. And a smile at the end from Paul Butlin, who says, yeah, I've been in with something special there. Well, it was a two-punch combination, but it was the right hand just exploded on the eyebrow of Paul Butlin. And that was right there, the fight ender. I mean, goodness knows how Butlin got up from that. Well, the speed of the right hand uh, surprised me in the opening round from Joshua and uh, surprised Butlin at the beginning of the second. And that was a terrific punch. And the way, you know, uh, the, the weight of the knockdown, if you like, and then the injuries he got back up, I, you know, I thought it was over at that point. I mean, look at the, look at the way he's crumbled to the floor here. Stands up and uh, blood flowing from an eye. I think we would have seen enough, thankfully, Howard Foster. I mean, OK, you're dealing with a fighter's pride, he wants to put up a show, but uh, the, the night had caved in on him. It was time to get him out of there. Thankfully, he wasn't forced to take too many more. 
I tell you, that was another terrific performance. It's what we expect from Josh at this stage. We can't go overboard. But he's doing what's expected of him, but he's doing it very, very well. Yeah, that's the point, isn't it? It's You like what you're seeing of him. You're not going to go overboard, as you say. He's not going to go out and win a world title tomorrow. We're not looking at another Lomachenko here or anything like that, but everything that you're asking him to do, everything you're hoping to see from him, you're seeing. Yeah, and, and credit to Butlin, he didn't grab hold, he didn't try to turn it into a, a mall. So, you know, he came to put up a little bit of a show, he did that, so... A bit of entertainment, and he played his part. But his part was over. Yeah, and not before time. So 2 and 0, Anthony Joshua, all smiles, having a chat with somebody at, uh, just outside the ropes there. Very, very impressive once again. Ladies and gentlemen, timekeeper Barry Pinder has recorded a time of 50 seconds of the second round. The referee has stopped this contest with Butlin, unable to continue. Your winner and still undefeated. The future people's champion, Anthony Joshua! How about your appreciation, please, for the prize fighter, Paul Butlin? Six for six of pure brawn. Anthony Joshua, two out of two. Second round demolition job on Paul Butlin. He celebrates the win, we'll hear from him very, very shortly. Well, Anthony, congratulations, another spectacular win, another stoppage victory. You've got to be pleased with the way that went. Not yet, because when you're in there, there's a few things that you could do better. Um, I'm still improving, still cracking on, but it's always good to get a win because now I can get ready for November 14th, which is my next fight, and I could, I've got about two and a half weeks to work on a few things to improve on. You weren't wild, though, you set everything up with the jab. Yeah, that's the key right now is uh, relax. Do your boxing move, box again, move, look for the opening attack, you know. And uh, second round, what Tony told me in the corner is let your shots go, be sharp. You've worked your way into the second round now, now be composed and sharp, and that's what I've done. A lovely two punch, punch combination to Floor Butlin. Were you surprised he got up from that? Yeah, man, the guy's a tough guy, you know, all respect to him. That's what I said. I like someone who comes to fight, someone who's game, and that's what he did. Chance to see it here, Anthony. I didn't see it. Here we go. Us through that <laughs> left hook, right hand, <laughs> just it's boxing one, two body shots, head shots. You know, it's boxing ain't complicated. You've got, you've got two arms and you've got to find a route to knock them out, and uh, that's what I've done with a left hook and right. Out again in three weeks. Any word on who you're gonna box? Um, the main man here has got someone for me, and uh, whoever it is, as I always say to Eddie, I've got to win, I've got to win, I've got to win. Hello, it's Eddie Hearn. Who's next? I don't know, do you know anyone? I mean, listen, he showed so much more composure tonight. Butlin, he's a seasoned pro. So much more composure than the debut. You know, he went the distance twice with Derek Chisora. He's been around and it's, this is a different class we're talking about right here. People talk about we've got to take him at the right pace. We've got to take him slowly. It's going to be very difficult to do. November the 14th, top in the prize fight, heavyweights built at York Hall. It's going to be ramp packed. Just another stepping stone of the journey. Well done tonight. Enjoy Sky Sports Live on all screens, on the go, and the best bits on demand.